podcast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, as you plan out your evening, it's pretty similar to what we saw last night. Another warm one out there as we'll drop our temperatures into the mid 60s. Once again, the chance for more dense fog out there. I think fog's going to start to develop after two, three o'clock in the morning and then last until about mid morning. But temperatures remain well above normal. I think this is the key going forward that we've got a very spring like pattern ahead of us well before the actual official start of spring begins. And as you see here, once again, a dense fog advisory in effect until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. That's for most of the viewing area at this point, especially near our coast. Obviously, that's where the fog is going to be just a little bit thicker as we enter those morning hours. Tonight, we're going to drop ourselves down into the 60s out there. Notice again, we're talking 64 out there, a little bit of cloud cover. The concern is fog. Everything right now bypassing well north of us. We've got tornado watches out well in Arkansas, back into Tennessee and Illinois. As you see, that cold front once again is expected to stall out and keep us trapped with that warm and humid air over the next couple of days and most of the energy again that's going to be our lifting mechanism it stays so far north that our showers they're only going to be in that isolated category over the next couple of days as you see on the future cast yeah we may see a couple of clouds out there a very warm picture a little bit breezy at times but our showers well, they're going to be pretty few and far in between. Very hit or miss at this point. So rain really not going to be a factor heading into our upcoming weekend as we'll keep that chance of rain at about 20%. Climbs a little bit heading in early next week. And I think even Wednesday, a few scattered showers possible. Right now, looking long range, our best real opportunity for rain may hold off until next weekend. So here you go. Headline wise, we've got an early start to spring. Obviously, we're just about a week away. Extended heat wave as we're going to keep our daytime highs anywhere from 10, maybe 12 degrees above normal. And our rain chances, well, they're going to be sitting pretty low over the coming days. At this hour, it is now 78 out there. But when you factor in that south wind at about 15, it now feels like 80. A little bit early in the season to start talking about that heat index out there. 64 tonight. We're going for more areas of fog out there. Should be some light winds out there tonight. We partnered up with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go. And here is that extended picture. Your first three. We've got 81 out there with the possibility of maybe one or two very quick showers out there. But a good mixture of sun and clouds. And I do think we will see some filtered sunshine. 63, 82 on Saturday. Not a bad weekend. Temperature of 80 degrees. And obviously... Again, being outdoors, getting that fresh air, that is good. However, again, our pollen count will be a little bit high. As we continue to move along, you'll see that even going into St. Patty's Day, we're talking mid-80s out there. Again, that is a little abnormal for us, talking temperatures in the low to mid-60s heading into next week and maybe a little bit dip towards the end, but I think we'll have to wait until next weekend to really see any noticeable changes across the board. So we're going to have to talk more a little bit about that fog. But otherwise, just remember to check your blood pressure. It definitely is feeling a lot warmer. It feels almost like summer like right now. Well, we just went it's from not warmer. We've had temperatures in the 80s. Mm -hmm. The difference 